Well, our continuing coverage from the College of William and Mary now. The university announced it's reinstating three sports programs cut last month. Good evening to you. I'm Anita Blanton. And I'm Tom Shad. School officials say the decision came from financial reasons, but the university was threatened with a Title IX lawsuit in response. Penny, your size, Gina Revelo has reaction from athletes. Tom and Anita, women's gymnastics, women's volleyball, and women's swimming are no longer on the chopping block, but athletes tell me this decision isn't one they're exactly happy with. In a statement, the university acknowledged the sports cuts wouldn't properly achieve gender equity, so the three women's sports aren't going anywhere after all. The announcement brings mixed feelings among athletes. Like, I genuinely just felt like we were numbers that were just checked off of kind of like a Title IX box, I guess. Although the women's programs were spared, the future of the men's swimming, indoor and outdoor track, and gymnastics sports programs is still in question. It was a little bittersweet. I mean, it was hard to be happy, especially being being part of part of the men's team, but then obviously, uh, it, it, you know, it was a step in the right direction. William and Mary athletes affected by the cut say the latest development doesn't sit well with them. So like we are a men's and women's team. That's what most people committed to, and that's what we swim best. They want the men there. They, you know, the men make them a better team. They make the women make the men a better team. The university says the decision reinforces its commitment to gender equity. However, officials also recognize other concerns still need to be addressed. Athletes and alumni worry the move could end up hurting the athletics program overall. I think William Mary's heard a consistent message that we are one tribe, one family, and we want to keep it that way. The fight is not over. You know, we're we're going to be in this until until we've got all the teams reinstated. Interim Athletics Director Jeremy Martin plans to address some of those concerns in the coming weeks, and the university says he's also working toward finding a path toward financial stability for a long-term sustainable solution. Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side. And we're also 